Hey guys, Chris here and welcome to your business bud. On this video, I'm going to share to you how to get started with your Facebook marketing, the super affiliate way. Make sure to watch till the end because I'm going to share a simple hack that will increase your chances of succeeding on Facebook. And if this is your first time on this channel, I'm going to be sharing valuable and helpful stuff about how to make more money online, like how you can do affiliate marketing the super affiliate way. And if that interests you, consider hitting the subscribe button and clicking that bell icon because I promise you, together we can. The first thing you want to do is you want to set up your Facebook ad account. Now, every Facebook account has an ad account associated with your Facebook personal profile. But we don't want to run ads from your personal profile ad account. Instead, we want to run it from a business manager. It is very important that when you start running your ads, you have a business manager. The reason is because typically most people, they don't realize that you can create a business manager and what they end up doing is they end up running their ad on their personal ad account, which is associated with their personal profile. And this is not necessarily a good thing because God forbid your personal ad account got shut down and that could really affect your personal profile. And in some extreme cases I've seen, when a personal ad account got shut down, the personal profile also got shut down, which is kind of sucked because you lose all your important information and everything like that. We want to avoid that. That is why we create the business manager and that is why Facebook has it for us. What business manager does is basically it separates your personal profile from your ad accounts so now you have something separate so it doesn't affect your personal profile at all to do that once you logged in on your Facebook account just go to business.facebook.com forward slash create and then you're gonna see this page now to create a business manager account just click on this button right here and then you can put your business name or you can name it whatever you want. Then, of course, you put in your name and your email address and then click Next. On this page, simply fill out which country you're from, your address, phone number, and your website. Then click Submit. It will then ask you to confirm your email address. Once you have done that, you'd be good to go. So let's jump over here and show you what we got going on next. So now we are here on Business Manager. There will be a couple of things you want to do first. First, you want to go to Business Settings, click this Business Manager tab, and on the far right, you will see the Business Settings. Click that. And under the Business Settings, click on Ad Accounts. If you haven't created any ad accounts, you will see this page that says you don't have an ad account yet. To create one, just click this add button right here, then choose create new ad account. A new window will pop up. Just put the name you'd like on your first ad account. Click the correct time zone you're in and the currency, then click create ad account. Then it's done and good to go. Now, it's very important to create multiple ad accounts in Facebook will allow you to have up to five ad accounts, but you cannot create it all at once. That's totally normal. So if I attempt to create another ad account just after creating the first one, it'll say you've reached your ad account maximum. So in order to unlock the other four, all you need to do is on your newly created ad account, you would want to spend $25. Don't run ad for affiliate offers to spend that $25 just yet. You can promote one of your pages instead, for example, 
or run a like campaign. Once Facebook bills you for $25, you can then go back to your business manager settings and create four more ad accounts. Again, it is very important you do this prior to running any real affiliate offer ads. The reason is because for whatever reason your first ad account got shut down, then you won't be able to create those additional four accounts. The second thing is make sure to add another person as an admin. Someone that you trust because if whatever reason that you ever got locked out of the, of the account, you still have a way to access it through the other person's end and figure out how to solve the problem from there. And then the next step you want to do, you're going to create a second business manager because every Facebook profile, you're allowed to open two business managers, which is kind of a cool thing. And a lot of people don't know that. You can then redo the same process you did on your first business manager. So you will then have a total of 10 ad accounts ready to go. So why do we want to create as many ad accounts as we can possibly have? It is because eventually some ad accounts will get shut down. That is completely normal. That is just the nature of Facebook when it comes to affiliate marketing. So you don't want to be in a position where you only have one ad account and then it got shut down and you're like, oh my God, what should I do? Because if your account, ad account got shut down, you cannot make any money. And that is why it's so important to have backup ad accounts. Facebook can really be a big game changer for you in affiliate marketing. But the problem is, Facebook don't like some affiliate marketing products that much. Maybe because of the number of affiliates that are running ads and marketing stuff on Facebook. So having 10 ad accounts doesn't put you on the safe spot. Again, Facebook will shut some of your ad accounts down. And when that happened, it is game over for those accounts. And now I'm going to share with you a small hack super affiliates do to have more ad accounts. To get more ad accounts, this is what you're going to do. On your first five ad accounts before you even run any affiliate offers, you would need to get some spending on them. You can spend say about $50 on each ad account. So that will be a total of $250. After that, you're going to reach out to Facebook support and you're going to say, Hey, Facebook, you know what? I got this ad accounts going and I really need to have some more ad accounts in my business manager. Can you unlock and approve some more ad accounts, please? Now, there will be some back and forth communication between you and Facebook support. You have to send them uh, what your business name is, the nature of it, your website, and stuff like that. Basically, you need to give them some information. And then what they'll do is they will unlock anywhere between 300 to 1500 ad accounts in your business manager. So you're going to go from having five ad accounts to having 300, 1000, or 1,500 ad accounts. That is awesome, right? Here's the dildo. You have to do this before you run any affiliate offers. This is because when you run affiliate offers on your ad accounts and one of them got shut down, guess what? You cannot open any more ad accounts in that business manager. So it is very important that you do this first. Have that business manager set up create the first five ad accounts, spend some money on them, then go and request for more ad accounts. And then go in there and create those out. Don't add a payment method yet, just get them created. And you can do this exact process on your second business manager. 
remember you can have two business managers per Facebook profile right now a little disclaimer here this process is not always guaranteed to have an approval with Facebook it will depend on the conversation you will have with them and the information about your business but it's totally worth a try and if this doesn't work out for you there is another way to have more ad accounts without talking to Facebook support and that is by reaching out to your family and friends this sounds kind of silly but guess what everybody has a Facebook profile almost nobody knows that there is an ad account associated with their Facebook profile and most people they're never gonna use that ad account in their whole life using Facebook so all you need to do is reach out to your friends and family and say hey you know what I'm looking to run some Facebook ads do you mind if I use your ad account I'll pay you 50 bucks I can turn off all notifications and you won't even know I'm running anything in there chances are if they're your friends and family for 50 bucks or small treats they'll say yes then do the same process open two business manager accounts add five ad accounts each put some spending on it then try to reach out again to Facebook to see if they will approve you for more ad accounts you can do this process over and over again now on the flip side you want to have credit cards or debit cards but credit cards are the best way to go because you can have ads going on and you can pay it off after 30 days so basically you have 30 days in advance so you're paying ads with someone else's money which is great right in setting up credit cards you want to have a business card I like the Amex gold card which is nice because it has no built-in quote-unquote limit so you can spend quite a bit of money on there and a nice thing about a business card like Amex gold is you can open up employee cards because as much as possible you want to have one credit card per ad account the reason why is say you have five or six different ad accounts and you have the same card on each one and the credit card for, for whatever reason gets flagged then all that ad accounts associated with that card will be shut down so if you can get those employee cards that's better it is very simple easy and they are free and one last thing that you want to do is when you got ad accounts from your friends and family you want to get the software called team viewer it is cheap and very useful team viewer is great and what it does is basically it allows you to uh, remote access to someone else's computer so it looks like you are running ad through their IP address because sometimes your Facebook IP address for your home or wherever you're running ads get flagged and you want to avoid accessing other ad accounts on that IP address so there you have it small super affiliate hacks that can make a big difference on your Facebook marketing having plenty ad accounts will ensure that you can keep testing promoting and scaling winner ads for your affiliate products and offers and finally hit that six or seven figures income goals you always want to have and if you find this video helpful Give it a little thumbs up and share your thoughts on the comment section down below. I'll share more super affiliate tips with you on my next videos so make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you'll be notified. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.